So now let's see how we can work around with Paint Bucket 2 inside of Microsoft Paint. So if I were to go over here, let's say for example on the Pencil tool, and if I were to draw a shape, you can see that I have drawn it and let me just close this out. This is a closed shape. Let me just draw it with freehand. This is another closed shape. And now this is an open shape. So there's a bit of a gap as you can see right here. I'm just going to scribble around right here so you can see that I have a bit of a shape right here as well, random shape. If I were to go around into paint bucket, now what I can do is I can select the color that I want. And then if I were to click over here, the white area will be covered up just like this. And since this is a closed shape, uh, the paint won't spill out. I can also go around over here, select this, click on it. And then what happens is that the paint is filled out. I can do the same with this one as well. But instead of clicking on the empty part right here, let me just click on the black part and click on it. And what happens is that anything that is black is colored into red. Let me just zoom in to be more precise. And now what I'm going to do is let's say I'm going to select this color. And if I were to click on the black part, you can see that the edge is actually colored out. Let me just click on this uh, color right here that's brown. And if I were to click here, you can see that this is brown, just like that. If I were to scroll down, you can see that this is an open shape. So if I were to, let's say, fill this out with yellow color, click on it, what happens is that the entire background gets colored, a yellow. That is because it uh, takes the white gap as a link to the outer color. Similar to how um, if, you were, if you have a little gap when you're actually painting, the paint might spill out. But over here, you can see that you still have the white spot left. So you have to click on these closed spaces individually to fill this out. But once you fill out, as you can see right here, now if I were to select out other color, you can see that it affects this as well. So now if I were to click on this, click on this, the shape is not there anymore. Everything has been colored the same. So if I were to select white and click on it, you can see that the shape disappears. And that is how the Paint Bucket tool works inside of Microsoft Paint. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.